Hey, this is Billboard and you should know me, Dean Lewis. My first job was, um, I was a paper boy, but I used to get quite weirded out because I was like 14 and I was like, you know, going up strange units and some nights I wouldn't get up and mum would end up having to do it. My guilty pleasure would probably be like, like a glass, I have like a glass of Coke once a day. I'm actually really good at computer games, like first person shooters. Like I used to compete back home in Australia, back in the day. And uh, yeah, so I'm okay at like, um, like Call of Duty and Halo and stuff like that. If someone was to play me in a movie, I would say Bradley Cooper because I just watched that new movie he's in with Lady Gaga and his acting is incredible and his hair looks so good that I'm Googling how he does it. My favorite album of all time would probably be, I'd say definitely maybe by Oasis because it was the starting point for me, I guess. If I could collaborate with any artist, it'd probably be Noel Gallagher, even though he would tell me to get a haircut and write better songs. I'm a big fan of his, obsessed with his songs, and he, in a way, I guess, taught me how to write songs because I'd spent five years just Googling him on YouTube and watching every like Oasis B-side and acoustic version. The first place that I performed music was at an open mic night in a place in Sydney, Australia, and I remember my hands were shaking because I was, I've never, I'd never gotten up and played in front of people, and it's a really weird environment because people are sort of drinking and talking and you like have to be like in their face and it's but it's the best place to kind of start the first song that i wrote was uh i remember it i don't know the name of it but it was i, I wrote this thing as it was a uh, i wish that one day i could see the people across the ocean it was something so it inspired me to keep going i was like hey that's not it's terrible but it's not like you know so it was a good starting point. The first song you should listen to of mine would probably be uh, Lose My Mind from my EP, just because it's sort of more in the direction that I like to go in, with kind of bigger songs with more of a festival vibe. My music making process is changing because I had a lot of spare time before Be All Right, and um, I would spend a lot of days just writing songs and obsessing over them, but usually inspiration would f flash really quickly, and I'd push record on my iPhone and I'd just start playing stuff, and a song would usually formulate in you know, one way or another, even if uh, some of the parts were terrible, one of them would usually be good, and then I just keep working on it. Um, and then after a bit of time, I realized you can craft it a bit more and, and you can make it say whatever you want. You don't just have to take down what, what the words are, you can kind of keep working on it. The inspiration behind Be All Right was, um, it was about a bunch of relationships, um, some crazy things that friends had told me growing up, but also uh, the, the main thing that was centered upon was me seeing a message on my ex-girlfriend's phone and then in the chorus, I sing about how I go to my brother's house when I sing, and my friend said, I know you love it, but it's... That's me going to my brother's house, and basically it's very autobiographical because I'm singing about what he said to me that night, which was, like, give me your phone, like, I'll, you know, delete, delete the number, put it in my phone, and you know, you'll be all right, have a drink. And uh, so it's a combination of things that happened to me and some things that, uh, some crazy stories that friends had told me. I know you love her, but it's over, mate. It doesn't matter, put the phone away. It's never easy to walk away Let her go It'll be okay It's gonna hurt